Hello friends. This is Data Guru from Infolumia. Today we will discuss databases in SQL Server instance. Actually, in normal terms. Database is a collection of objects. Such as tables. Views. Stored procedures. Function. Trigger. Etc. In Microsoft SQL Server we can see. Two types of databases are available. First is System Databases Second is User Databases System Databases These are the databases which are automatically created when we install Microsoft SQL Server. Here we installed SQL Server 2019 latest on-premises SQL Server version available. You can see the list of databases highlighted. These databases created automatically when we installed the Microsoft SQL Server 2019. Second is User Databases. These are the databases created by any user who has permission to create the database. Any user means administrators, developers, and testers, etc. These highlighted databases are created by me for practice purpose. Actually these are not created by me, these are sample databases provided by Microsoft. I just restored them. Today we will understand the purpose and use of the system databases only, which were created automatically when SQL Server was installed. Let's understand the master database first. The master database. This is the database, which records all the system level information for a SQL Server system. This includes instance-wide metadata, such as logon accounts, endpoints, linked servers, and, and system configuration settings. Also, master is the database that records the existence of all other databases and the location of those database files and records the initialization information for SQL Server. Therefore, SQL Server cannot start if the master database is unavailable. So please, don't play with this database if you have permission and not have good understanding how to deal with this database. See how objects are available in master database if you want you see. And explore the each object in more detail. Now we will understand about model system database. The model database is used as the template for all databases created on an instance of SQL Server. It means if in any SQL Server instance, we want to create some default objects in any new user database. We can create them in model database. Whatever object, tables, stored procedures, user defined functions, any object we need in every user database, we can create them in model database. After that, whenever we will any new user database, all objects will be there in new database which are available model database. That's why we call Model database is template database. User defined tables, stored procedures, user defined data types, etc. can be created in the model database and will exist in all future user defined databases. The database configurations such as the recovery model for the model database are applied to future user defined databases. Note, if you modify the model database, all user databases created afterward will inherit those changes. It means if any user database is created before modify the model database. Changes done in model database will not reflect in previously created database. We have another system database called MSDB. MSDB keep all the information about any SQL Server agent activity. The MSDB database is used mainly by the SQL Server Management Studio to manage SQL Server agent to store system activities like SQL Server Jobs Mail Service Broker Maintenance Plans User and System Database Backup History Replication Information Log Shipping We need to take a backup of this database for the proper function of SQL Server Agent Service. Its prominent functionality is SQL Server Agent Jobs, Operators, and Alerts DTS package storage in SQL Server 7.0 and 2000. 
SSIS Package Storage and SQL Server 2005. Now come to Temp Database. Temporary Database is used to store Temporary Tables, Single Hash Temp Tables, or Double Temp Tables. Table Variables. Cursors, Work Tables. Row Versioning. Create or rebuild indexes sorted in TempDB, etc. Each time the SQL Server instance is restarted all objects in this database are destroyed, so permanent objects cannot be created in this database. Manage temporary objects listed in the purpose above. Each time a SQL Server instance is rebooted, the TempDB database is reset to its original state. Now come to Resource Database. The Resource Database is a read-only database. That contains all the system objects that are included with SQL Server. SQL Server system objects, such as sys.objects, are physically persisted in the resource database, but they logically appear in the sys schema of every database. The resource database does not contain user data or user metadata. Note. This was introduced in SQL Server 2005 to help manage the upgrade and rollback of system objects. Prior to SQL Server 2005 the system-related data was stored in the master database. This is read-only database that is not accessible via the SQL Server tool set. In last we will discuss about distribution database. The distribution database stores metadata and history data for all types of replication and transactions for transactional replication. Replication is a set of technologies for copying and distributing data and database objects from one database to another end then synchronizing between databases to maintain consistency. This is DBA activities, I don't this we should discuss more on this. That's all about the system databases. We will study and understand more in another video about user database.